Hello students, hope you are doing well. So here we have a text and the direction for question is that there is a passage below accompanied by a set of questions. We need to choose the best answer of uh, best answer to each question. So here, what I presume that you have already gone through the text. So let's look into the <coughs> questions. Uh, by the way, if I talk about this particular text, this particular text talks about egalitarianism and how it is a contested concept in social and political thought, right? And uh, it is indicating about the means, uh, one might care about human equality in many ways. At the end also, we find out uh, this is the kind of a discussion to come up and merges this question. The assumption being that if equality is valuable, that is at least one good reason for thinking one should bring it about. Well, uh, let's come to the question. So the question here it asks is nothing but what is the passage is chiefly, chiefly concerned with? Which of the following? Isn't it? That is what the question it is given. Now. Let's go to the each and every option and analyze them. So the first option points out um, an exhortation that everyone at all times and places has equal nature, moral rights that all of us ought always to respect. Now, second, an introductory discussion on whether the concept of egalitarian, egalitarian and egalitarianism is a timeless, unchanging or a variable doctrine. The third one stated a preliminary discussion on the discussions between the different uh, views on the concept of egalitarian and egalitarianism. The fourth option, a statement of egalitarianism as the ultimate norm to which individual conduct and institutional arrangement ought to conform. Now, let's look at the um, first option. So what we draw in the um, first option. So if I look into the first option, it is stated about an exhortation that everyone at all times and places has equal nature, moral rights that all of us ought always to respect. Now this option is uh, known as an incorrect one, right? So as uh, there is uh, no ex exhortation, exhortation, right, uh, whatsoever, it's not given in the passage whatsoever, not given in the passage, given in the passage. Second, uh, if you look into the uh, second option, an introductory discussion on whether the concept of egalitarian and egalitarianism is a timeless, unchanging or a variable doctrine, this may be, uh, you can say that um, one of the concerns, right, this may be called as a one of the concerns, but cannot be called as a chiefly concern. Um, one of the concerns, but uh, cannot be called as a chief concern. In other words, it may be, uh, you can say that implicitly right, right, implicitly right, isn't it? So, uh, however, the chief concern of the passage is something different, not to introduce the permanence or variability of eg egalitarianism. Hence, it is incorrect, right? So on the basis of that, we can find out option one and option two are eliminated. Now moving to the option three, option three stated what a preliminary discussion on the distinction between the different views on the concept of egalitarian and egalitarianism. Yes, this could be the correct answer because the passage is a brief discussion about how, how, Egalitarianism is contested in social and political thought and highlights the different points of view from which the concept is considered. And option three, option three uh, states this clearly, isn't it? Now, if I look into the option four, a statement of egalitarianism as the ultimate norm to which individual conduct and institutional arrangements ought to conform. Well, it is far beyond the scope. It is far beyond the scope, far beyond the scope of the passage as nothing is stated or implied about the individual uh, conduct and institutional arrangements. Hence, 
the correct answer should be option three hope you understood thank you